player, for Christ's sake. I'm not going to say a goddamn thing. You're just sitting there for 30 minutes not saying anything, for Christ's sake. Who else we got? 916, what's up? Oh, hey, Ghost. How's it going? Um, I just thought I'd remind you that uh, the KKK meeting got rescheduled to Tuesday. So I'll see you there. Hey, really? Hold on, stay on the line. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man, hold on. Stay on the line right there because I want to get more information about this because you know what time it is, folks. It's time to play Guess the Minority! That's right, folks. I hear a little bit of an ethnic twang here. I'm hearing a little bit of an ethnic twang, and I, I, I just want to speculate that there is some ethnicity going on here. And if you have any guesses, please put it on the screen right now. What do you think this is? It's everybody's favorite game. Guess the minority. Anyway, let's go back to this caller here and see if we can guess his minority status. All right, uh, 916, you there? Yeah. All right, I think that you're a Mexican. Are you Mexican? Uh, no. You're lying! <laughs> I mean, what's up with that? What's up with Mexicans? When I call them out for being a Mexican, they don't even want to admit it. What's up with that? I mean, wouldn't Kid Frost be rolling your ass right now, for Christ's sake? I mean, he, he wouldn't be down with that. He'd be like, hey, Holmes, you should be doing it for la raza. Orale, you should be doing it for la raza. And, you know, n- none of these Mexicans are brown and proud, for Christ's sake. What's going on with that? Why, why aren't you brown and... Oh, and you hung up. Jesus Christ, you hung up. Oh, come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, hey look, if I am a racist, uh, I would be supporting the supremacy of another race over everything else, and I'm not, all right? Do you think that I'm, I'm standing up for these damn NASCAR-watching, uh, chaw-chewing, cheese-whiz-guzzling, trailer park trash-living, Dale Earnhardt-worshipping, uh, you know, tra- pieces of trailer trash? you think that I'm standing up for them, for Christ's sake? I mean, give me a goddamn break. I'm not standing up for them. I'm standing up for the capitalists. You understand? That's who I'm standing up for. I'm standing up for the capitalists. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what sexual orientation you are. I don't care what gender you are. As long as you are working, as long as you're paying taxes in your country of origin, and as long as you're not collecting one red cent from the government, well, then by God, you are a capitalist, and I stand with you. I fight with you. I'll be on the front lines with you, for Christ's sake against these disgusting heathens that want to do nothing but consume without any kind of productivity. It's disgraceful, right? It's disgraceful. Look at these people are starting to wake up. Look at them. They're starting to wake up. And I'm glad you're waking up because it's not fair, the current situation that we have here in this country. It is not fair that the capitalist, the working man, the individual that contributes to the government is getting his finger shoved up his ass by the government, shoved up his ass by the goddamn people. And it makes me sick to my stomach. This is why I advocate. And now that there are thousands, tens of thousands of people listening, we need to advocate this throughout the world. And what am I talking about? What am I suggesting? What I'm suggesting is the capitalists. The capitalists should assert their authority throughout the world. We should demand from governments worldwide that capitalists be the exclusive party to participate in the political process. The exclusive party. Because look at what we have done thus far, allowing these uh, regular American schmucks to vote here in this country. The American experiment has been proven moot. It has been proven moot. And it makes me sick to my stomach that nobody else can see it. And the reason they can't see it is because they're collecting from the government. They're moochers. They're complacent with mediocrity. They're complacent with being wastes of human flesh. They're complacent with this crap. And I'm a capitalist, and I will not stand for this. Give me capitalism or give me death, Christian. Give me capitalism or give me death. <sighs> give me a goddamn drink. Give me a drink. Jesus Christ. <sighs> give me capitalism or give me death. That's all there is to it. Give me. And you know what else? I don't care what you do for a living. I don't care if you're cleaning enema bags for a living. 
I don't care if you're cleaning the leftover secretions after a night at the Triple X Theater. I don't care if you're cleaning shit bowls, flipping burgers, or a CEO, or a small businessman, a manager. I don't care what you are. As long as you're a capitalist, as long as you're making money and paying and contributing to society, contributing to the government, well, by God, you should have a bigger say-so in the political process than these simple minions that are doing nothing but mooching off the government. These simplistic idiots that are complacent with being mediocre pieces of entitlement recipient crap. I'm sorry, folks. I know. I'm getting a little out of head here. I'm sorry, folks. Give me a drink here, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just have a lot of passion here. I have a lot of passion for those hardworking people that are trying to prevent themselves from going to the dark side. And what's the dark side? Well, by God, it's easy. It's so easy to sit here and be a disgusting, uh, pathetic loser and apply for all the government programs that are available out here. Oh, my God, there are so many programs to sit back and just, oh, I'm going to collect unemployment, then I'm going to file for this bureaucracy for a housing voucher program, then I'm going to file for this bureaucracy for a food card, then I'm going to file for this bureaucracy so I can get myself a free cell phone, I'm going to file for this bureaucracy so I can get myself some free insurance, I'm going to file for this bureaucracy. It's disgusting, man! And I just can't, I can't take it, you know, I just can't take it anymore. I mean, sometimes it hurts to wake up, man. It, it hurts to wake up in the morning. It hurts to wake up in the morning. I'm like, good God. I know I'm getting off keister here, folks, and I'm sorry. I apologize, folks. I mean, we, we're I mean, I've already missed the count here. It's already seven minutes into the second hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, and of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And folks, I want to thank you. Jesus Christ! I want to thank you for tuning in with me. If you could please, all right. Please retweet the broadcast, all right? Go to the forums, go to the social networks, go to the blogs, and spread around like wildfire. Oh, Jesus Christ. My heart's beating like a rabbit. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh no. Anyway, there's all kinds of little buttons underneath the player, folks. As you can look underneath the player, there's all kinds of Facebook like buttons. There's all kinds of tweet this buttons and share this buttons. Use and abuse those buttons, baby. It's just a freaking click, for Christ's sake. It's just a freaking click. Anyway, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry for, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. My heart's beating like a rabbit. I'm sorry for letting everybody down. I'm going off keister, folks. I'm sorry. Let me just move on to the next subject matter. We were talking about Congress trying to unfund the military theater in Libya. Unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. It was unsuccessful uh, because these bedwetting liberals, they want to continue to send young people to die at war uh, for no freaking reason. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about LULSEC, the LULS It's so shocking and new. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about LULSEC here. And the reason that I want to talk about LULSEC is because they are finally starting to do some hacks for some serious causes. I mean, you know, they are the only, as far as I know, I know Anonymous has thrown a couple of offshoot uh, operations. But for the most part, uh, LULSEC is actually going out and taking down targets. For political purposes, baby. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You understand? This is what I'm talking about out here. And uh, one of the recent causes, uh, amongst many of them, but the one, the most recent one here is them hacking into the Arizona Police Department immigration uh, bureaucracy or something or other. Yeah, 
I kid you not. And the reason they did it, the reason they did it is because they disagree with the immigration situation out there in Arizona, and I can't blame them, all right? I can't blame them, for Christ's sake. I mean, the immigrants that are coming into this country are actually working. They're actually, they actually want to come in, you know what I mean? They want, to, they, they want to work here, you understand? They want to work here, they want to kick back, they want to chill like some insane villains. They want to actually take advantage of the freedoms that are accorded to these United States citizens that don't give a crap about it, you understand? They don't give a crap about the freedoms that they have, for Christ's sake. So, uh, I mean, I am in complete agreement with this particular hack. I'm not endorsing this. I'm not condoning this. I'm not telling people to participate in this whatsoever. Let's get that straight. But if you are going to do it, you know what I mean, because people are doing it regardless. Do it for a reason. Do it for a cause, for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do it for a cause, and, I, and it's, I'm glad to see this. I'm glad to see Lulsex saying, hey, you know what, enough with this disgusting, despicable immigration issue. They're the only people working in this country, and they're working below minimum wage, for Christ's sake, and they're saving their capital. They're sustaining themselves. They're actually becoming an, a consumer market in this country. And for you people that don't believe me, if you people that don't believe me that, hey, uh, these immigrants are becoming an actual economic force, Take a look at your goddamn latest sporting event, and I guarantee you you're going to see a Spanish-speaking advertisement during an English sporting event. Now, why is this? Why would any uh, corporation advertise Spanish-speaking only? Because the immigrants have actually become an economic force in this country. You understand? They have actually become an economic force in this country. And, you know, what's really sad is that the majority of the American people, you know, the reason that they're hating on these illegal immigrants is because they're prospering out of their own work, out of their own hard work and ethic, for Christ's sake. You understand? And they're pissed about it. They're pissed that, man, it ain't fair, baby. It ain't fair that, I, they, that the illegal immigrants out there, they're getting paid, baby. I see them out there, man. They're drinking, baby. They got iPhones, baby. They got all this, you know what I'm saying, baby. Ain't no fair, baby. It ain't fair that I, I don't get it, baby. You want to know why you don't get it there, Mr. Entitlement recipient? Because you don't work, all right? You don't care. You just collect a check. You don't work, you know? So I have no compassion for these American people. And what are the statistics? 53% or something of that nature are collected entitlements? Pathetic. Pathetic. What I'm saying is I want more immigrants to come into this country. Are you kidding me? I want more immigrants. If you're from wherever you are in the world, come to America. You know, do what, uh, uh, what was that Neil Diamond song, you know? From everywhere around the world. They're coming to America. Come on down to America. Everybody around the world, they're coming to America. Come on. They're coming to America. They're coming to America today. <laughs> anyway, 646-652-4869. Lulsec. The Lulz boat has sailed over to the Arizona Police Department. Those racist bastards that now, if you happen to have a lighter shade of brown skin out there in Arizona, they can ask you for your papers. Where's your papers? Anyway, 646-652-4869 is the number to call. Let's take some calls here. we got uh, 508. You're on the horn. What's up? You there? He's just sitting there. He's not doing anything. Let's, uh, 626, you're on the horn. Fuck Texas, you racist sack of shit. You waited, like, literally 30 minutes to say that? Yeah. It's, fr it's Friday, for Christ's sake. It's Friday. You don't have, like, any chicks around there or, you know, any kind of, like, gamer events. There's nothing you can do. You waited 30 minutes just to say that. I mean, you could I mean, you, is there anything to do in your town? Actually, I mean, no, my girl's right here. Got a problem? Oh, yeah? Well, let's talk to her right now. We we all want to hear that you actually have a girl next to you. We all want to hear it. Does it matter? No, we want to hear it. You're claiming that, yeah, I got my girl right here. She's sitting on my lap, baby. We we'll want to hear her, all right? 
We want to hear that it's an actual person and not a blow-up doll. 